Tuk -tuk. Bastion said, hey, why don't we have one of those tuk-tuks where we face each other in the seat, and then yeah. boom, this guy pulls right up. Yeah. Three dollars. <laughs> yep. How is it, Bastion? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that's, that's worth it right there. <laughs> we used the uh, Grab app last night and uh, to get a tuk-tuk, and we probably went at least three times farther uh -huh. for about two dollars and fifty cents. Oh, okay. So this is uh, you know I guess at least two to three times more. And could I have negotiated down? Yeah, obviously. But I just don't care. It's hot. What if one of my next shave off 50 cents? Maybe a buck. But it's not worth it. Now, if we're talking like 20 bucks shaving down to 15 or something like that, yeah. But I've, uh, it's weird because in our travels, I've gotten less and less. I don't care about the pennies and the, the cents anymore. It's just, it's just not worth it. So, uh, and when we first got to Bali, I was all up in this. Negotiate, negotiate, haggle, haggle, haggle. And we still do. We still do some. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like it. There's nothing wrong with haggling. Just, do you want to or don't you want to? That's all. Yeah. Plus, you know, but I think it's three bucks well spent. We've never been in this kind of tuk tuk before, and the V-Man's loving it. So we are going to go see the Independence Monument? Yeah. Okay. Amy likes to have it more than I do anymore these days. I just, I just don't, you know. Well, if I have already seen a price, half the price of what the person telling me, that's what I'm going to haggle. Panya, the owner of VS Sweet Home, which I've mentioned before, but he's, I mean, every day, it's just, man, this the guy's the most customer service oriented guy you could ever want. So if you're in Cambodia, if you're in Phnom Penh, I can't imagine you would want to stay anywhere else unless of course you want a pool or exercise room. But if you don't care about those things and you just want to stay in a nice place where someone who's taking care of you is going to be there for you and give you every bit of information that you could want and it's just going to do everything that they can to help you out, well then I would definitely recommend coming to VS Sweet Home. All right, we just got to Wat Phnom. Where did the other kid go? The other kid is right there. All right, other kid. We're going to go up the uh, side bus travel.
says 11.35, yeah, it's pretty close. That's pretty cool, because it actually moves. Yeah. It's like a really big clock. That's for everyone. Oh, okay, Aiden over here. Mama's take a picture of us. I think I blinked. I think I blinked. <laughs> All right, we're just cruising down the uh, river here in Phnom Penh. Just wanted to see what it was like here on the riverbanks. Oh, because that's a sewer. Yeah. That's not a waterfall, that's a sewer. All right, we're back in the heat and the heart of Phnom Penh. What do you think about that, B man? Uh, can we go? <laughs> and here is the Independence Monument. Stay in the shade. That's a good looking monument, huh? 